desperately good. If Angel could speak, she would speak with love, grace, and intelligence. But she can't. So today and forever, I will proudly be her voice and the voice of millions like her. That said, I am a person who is incapable of sugarcoating the truth. And I also like to swear. I would like to start by saying breed specific legislation is bullshit. It is discrimination enshrined in law and goes against the very fiber our country was built on. It has no merit and it is not okay. BSL is costing taxpayers millions of dollars. It is ineffective and allows innocent beings to die because of a parents, and that is not okay. <laughs> Ripping pit bulls from the hands of our active military on our military bases and from loving homes is not okay. <laughs> Genocide is not okay. For the past three decades, pit bulls have been vilified by the media and now uneducated myths live in our social conscious and that too is not okay. The dog fighting epidemic is worse now than ever before. That is not okay. Americans blessed to be born into a first world country of hope and opportunity are setting dogs on fire, fighting them, starving them, hanging them, shooting them, drowning them, mutilating them, and that is not okay. <laughs> These abusing sociopaths are everywhere. They live in every community. They are every race. They are in every tax bracket. They are in every culture. They must be identified. They must be stopped. They must be punished. This is our country. These are our communities. And we need to take them back. We are here today being the voice of millions of voiceless victims and every single day, we are getting louder. We are, in fact, the majority. An event of this kind has never, ever been done before. And you, each and every single one of you, got off your asses and you got here. That shows me that people are sick and tired of needless death and hate. You yes. believed in the unknown. You believed in something different. And I'm honored today, honored. This is my greatest accomplishment ever on earth to stand here with you people. But let us be reminded that it is us it is our breed, the two-legged kind. It is our species who has created an incomprehensible mess of epic proportions. It is our species that has done this. Pitbull terriers are not to be feared. It is humanity that, is, that should be feared. There is nothing more dangerous than a hate-filled human being. You add ignorance on top of that, and you're in trouble. Yes. The One Million Pibble March on Washington, D.C. is giving us a national platform to speak, to be heard, and to educate. Today, we are sending a message to legislators on federal, state, and local levels that killing and banning the victim is not, and never will be, okay or the answer. message to people outside of the animal community that what is happening to pit bulls is not just an animal issue but rather a broken human and broken society issue that is in fact everyone's problem and it will no longer be tolerated our goal is to reach everyone 
When lawmakers understand that a human who abuses a dog will likely and most oftentimes does go on to commit crimes against humans, then and only then will those lawmakers do something. Those lawmakers need to understand that violence against a dog today is violence against them, their kids, or their loved ones tomorrow. This is not a theory. This is a fact. I am shocked by how many people don't even know BSL exists in America and how many Americans think dog fighting ended when a cowardly, mediocre football player got caught. and how it affects them. Two pieces of human garbage set a pit bull puppy on fire five years ago in Baltimore. They laughed as the puppy died. They were tried. They were both acquitted. One year later, one of those monsters went to prison for attempted second-degree murder. If something would have been done then, perhaps taxpayers wouldn't be stuck with the bill of keeping him alive in prison. America houses the most prisoners than anywhere in the world, and the common denominator amongst inmates on death row, regardless of ethnicity or crime committed, is that they at one point all admitted to torturing, mutilating, or murdering an animal. It is time for America to wake up. May I have your attention, please? Maybe. This is a test of the emergency (laughs) warning. Here's, here's where it's going to get real real about uh, about uh, the animal community. It's, it's my belief, guys, that we are never going to rescue our way out of this mess. If we are to end the murder of millions each year in our country, we must think, we must speak, and we must behave differently, or we will be on this giant hamster wheel for another three decades. I'm considered a member of the animal community, but I consider myself a member of society first. I'm an American who believes abuse and discrimination is wrong. Whether the abused has two legs or four legs, it is wrong. I don't advocate to make friends or for a pat on the back. I do this to save dogs. That is my agenda. I want to inspire and empower others to do the same and stand with you as the voice of the voiceless. I must take a a moment to address my experience over the last year as organizer of the Pibble March. It was my experience, aside from dealing with open mouth, breathing, mentally stunted pit bull haters, (laughs) that some members of the animal community's behavior was no less deplorable. So-called animal lovers refusing to come today because Barack Obama was invited. An animal lover uh, returned their hoodie because Caesar Milan recorded a message to support this event. It was my experience with the animal community that was a little bit disheartening. Someone said, oh, I bet. <laughs> um, there are so-called uh, animal, animal, uh, animal, what was it, where was I? I endured, uh, oh yeah, I got so pissed about that asshole that returned the hoodie. <laughs> the point is this, we need everyone in this together. We need everyone, this is everyone. I understand how heartbreaking, hopeless, and frustrating it can feel. But we need to stand together to save lives. And you people, the ones with compassion and intelligence, 
are making that happen by being here today. And if others who are apparent, like-minded animal lovers and advocates don't like you or try to detour you from saving lives or shoot down your ideas or attempts at different approaches, then fuck them. As far as I'm concerned, they are poison and they are killing our dogs too. on the morons. People trying to put an end to pit bull terriers live at a low level and need rescuing too. Sadly, trying to reason with dumb is like asking a person with no arms to give you a hug. I want all of us here today to make a pact. Do not respond to them. Do not repost them. Do not engage with them. Do not even see them or hear them. They don't deserve your time or your genuine hearts. You all have the power. We have the power. And we have to understand the power we have. We are fortunate to live in a day and age where we can reach millions within seconds with a push of a button where we can record and post and share and click and sign. We can reach our lawmakers, we can reach decision makers, and we can be heard. But we have to be smart. Think about what you post. Think about the message you're sending before you send it. The posting of non-stop horrific images, negative stories and videos is not effective. People who are not aware of what is going on will block you and delete you because they simply cannot handle seeing it. And I don't blame them. I can't handle seeing it. Now, I'm not saying to never not post a graphic photo or a graphic video or graphic images. I'm not saying to never do that, but have a point, have a story, have a goal, and then follow it up and post something as to how people can help. Post solutions, organize a rally, a meetup, start a petition, target a certain aspect of a cause, and offer solutions on it. Hey. I have never witnessed a single person sit through the ASPCA Sarah McLaughlin commercial in its entirety, <laughs> ever once. <laughs> Horrific images and tugging at people's heartstrings does, it has a place and has managed to raise lots of money and do lots of good, but I believe there is more power in positive education. Yeah. How, about, how about a commercial that tells people what to do if they find a stray dog? You know, simple. How about a commercial that, that tells what someone what they should do if they suspect a neighbor is fighting or abusing their dog? Hey. Or how to volunteer or become a foster. I mean, start a program in your community to help end dog fighting and get to potential dog fighters before they start doing it. Provide people with information and direction on what they can do. I hear the question all the time, what can I do? Let's provide them with actual things they can do. You're all capable of doing it. You got here. There are more good people than bad people. And a lot of people really do want to help. They honestly just don't know how. So it's on us to tell them. You guys, today we took a chance. Today we did something new, something different. And it has resulted in a national and international movement. Together, we must continue to break ground and keep doing better. It is my dream to one day look back at the past three decades of abuse, discrimination, and death as a shameful period in American history that is never to be repeated again. stand here with you all on this historical day and walk together with you into a future of solutions, forward thinking, and positive education. And by doing so, create safe and humane communities for humans and pets.
God bless my angel. May God bless all of you. And may God bless America. Brewer, proud mother of Elle. Elle was the 